Hey, hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to the But First Coffee Wake Up Call. Excited to be here with you on this Monday morning. As you jump on, say hi. If you're watching the replay, thanks so much for joining us and fitting it into your schedule when it's convenient for you. So I'm Kelly Greeno. I'm your life coach. I work with moms of grade school kids that are feeling overwhelmed with being in mom mode all the time and like they've sacrificed a lot of the things that they want to do and put themselves on the back burner for too long and now they are looking to find a way to do all the things they want to do for themselves like travel, have a hobby, start a business, uh, do things with friends while still being the present mom that they want to be. So it's all about finding that balance for them. So today we're talking about why the morning routine is easier and flows better when it's just mom handling it all on her own, when, you know, it kind of makes sense logically, like in our head that if dad's home, it should be an easier morning routine, right? We've got this other set of hands that are there to help us. It should be a little bit easier when dad's home, but some days when dad is home and we're trying to get up and get everybody, it kind of throws a wrench into the morning routine and actually makes it harder. So I was reflecting on this and trying to figure out how I can best help you guys and serve you and helping you through that that hurdle, that bump, that when dad is home, it should still be just as easy and enjoyable. It shouldn't be um, this massive stress ball, right? It shouldn't be really stressful in the morning either anyway. So the things that I'm going to tell you today are the top three things to help you make your morning routine easy, even if it is just you or it is you and your spouse, or you've got family in the house, no matter who is involved, the three things that you can do to make your morning routine with the kids easier and better, less stressful, totally enjoyable. Nobody is yelling at somebody saying, you know, where's your other shoe? Why can't you find your other shoe? Put your socks on, go brush your teeth. Did you brush your teeth as you're trying to close the door and they didn't brush their teeth? So you got to send them back in. Where's your lunch? Do you need your gym shoes? And it's kind of that constant rush and starting our way that our day that way is not the best way to do it. So the top three things that we can do to help take the stress out of the morning, even when dad is home trying to help. So the reason why it's harder when dad is home is because we now have this subconscious expectation of there's another set of hands. He's going to do things. He's going to help. He's going to know what needs to be done. So he will do them. And then he doesn't do them because he doesn't really know what to do or you like them done differently. And so we end up with that unmet expectation. I feel like I've talked about this kind of a few times a lot recently because expectations are what lead to the disappointments and arguments and frustrations in our relationships and with our kids and with our husbands. So when somebody else is home and able to help you in the morning, it's best to have these three things that I'm going to tell you already in place and set up to help make the morning smooth anyways, and then to communicate with the other person on what's left to be done so that, that you're actually telling them what you're expecting them to do so that everybody's on the same page. So step one is to make lunches the night before. If you do lunch money for your kids, then give them the money, put it in their baggie in their backpack the night before. Make that already done, right? Right now, my kids are six and eight, six and nine. She just turned nine. And I let them make their lunches. When they get home from school, they empty their backpack and they make their lunch for the next day. That's what they do. They know what goes in it. They're old enough now to handle that themselves. It's a great thing for them to feel responsibility, to grow up a little bit and kind of get some routine down for themselves. So that's what they do. Now, if they're not old enough to do that or you feel like they don't know what to pack, um, I highly recommend that you teach them how to pack their own lunch because then it's taking that off your plate. But you can do it for them you know, before they go to bed or after they go to bed. But the point is to have that lunch made in the bag, in the fridge, ready the night before, before you get into bed, their lunch is already done. So nobody's worried about it. Now, when you put it in the fridge, put it up front so you see it when you open the fridge in the morning and you can grab it and put it in their backpack right away. Just a little tip so you don't forget it. So step one is to make their lunch the night before. Step two is to pick out your clothes and your children's clothes the night before. Right. This is all about setting ourselves up for success. The easier we can make the morning, the more joyful it can be for us, the better day every single one of us will have. So set out there, get their lunch made and set out your clothes and their clothes the night before. Know what you're going to wear already. Look at the weather to figure out the temperatures. Tell your kids what they've got to pick out for themselves, right? I tell my kids to do this. Like I don't pick out their clothes anymore. They can pick out their own style. If your kids wear uniforms, even better, but still have them out. Pick out the clean underwear, get the socks ready. Where are their shoes, right? Finding 
both shoes and having them ready. So really teaching them to prepare and set up for themselves. So by the time they do get to high school and college and on their own, it's not that big of a shop that they have to do this stuff. Like you're teaching them these habits and it's helping you de-stress your morning. So lunches are made and in the front of the fridge. So when you open it, you see them. Clothes are all ready for you and your kids, both kids or all your kids laid out shoes and underwear and socks included. You know what the weather's going to be like ahead of time, so there's no shock in the morning when all of a sudden you guys need sweatshirts. So, food is done, clothes are done. Now you're going to fix breakfast and your coffee the night before. Now, this doesn't mean brew your coffee the night before, but making breakfast and having all the breakfast stuff ready to go for the next morning is the best way to help things go smooth. So you get up about 10 to 15 minutes, if not earlier, before the kids, and you have their breakfast already made. If you're making oatmeal, make them overnight oats. If you do egg things, like make little egg bake muffin things and cook a whole tray of them all at once. Get them ready in time. If you do cereal, have the cereal in the bowl and the milk like in the fridge on the door ready to go. Have everything set up, bowls out, spoons out. This is really about helping you get into a really smooth routine in the morning to help take the stress out of it. You're not all of a sudden washing dishes because nobody pushed the dishwasher button in the morning and you've got no spoons and no bowls. So now you have to wash the dishes before you can even give them the oatmeal that they want for breakfast, right? Set yourself up for success. Do this stuff the night before. So breakfast, set up whatever you need to set up for them. If you, I, my kids do oatmeal. So I do a bowl with the dry oats already in it. And all I do the next morning is add water and throw it in the microwave and then mix in their, um, their Shakeology for their vitamins and minerals. That's literally all I do for breakfast in the morning. It takes a minute, a minute 30 to from beginning to end to plan that for them. Now coffee, if you have a Keurig, awesome. Open it up, put a new one right on top and just let it sit there. Don't close it down so you poke a hole in it yet. Like let it sit there. If you've got a drip brewer, then put the filter in, put the water in, put the coffee grounds in and leave it so all you have to do is hit the button. The first thing you do when you get up, you hit the button and it starts to brew while you're putting the oatmeal in the microwave, you're putting the lunches in the backpack and you're opening bedroom doors to say it's time to get up. Now it's done. You can go shower, you can get yourself dressed and you can start your day with so much more ease and so much less stress, no matter who's helping you. All that stuff is already done. So if your husband is home and he's willing to help, then all you do is tell him, you know what, get yourself ready first and then make sure that the kids are up and out of bed. That's it. We got to be out the door at this time. And it's just communicating those pieces, right? Because you're no longer expecting someone else to fill in when they don't really know what they need to do. And you're expecting things to get done one day, one way. And it's not happening because you wanted this, the kids to do this. And we all know kids aren't predictable. So when you're setting yourself up for success for a stress-free morning, do things the night before as much as you can make their lunches and have them in the front of the fridge, right? Fill up water bottles, make sandwiches. If you do lunch money, then put it in a baggie in the front pocket of their backpack. Take the time to set out your clothes for the next day and your children's clothes from shoes all the way on up to what earrings you're going to wear. Make sure everything is laid out and ready and found. Nobody's searching for that one shirt that's at the bottom of the laundry pile that they were planning on wearing, but they didn't find it the night before. So now they're searching for it in the morning. All that does is create more stress. Lunches are out, clothes are out, and breakfast and coffee are ready to go as much as they can be the night before. Then you can go to bed and you're actually going to sleep better because you know you have less to do in the morning. You're going to get into that good routine, waking up, pushing the coffee button so that by the time you're done with your shower, coffee's ready, kids' breakfast is nice and hot or you know fresh out of the, the you know box or whatever. Like Things are going to be so much easier if you take just the time the night before to do these three simple things, right? Making their lunches ahead of time, planning their clothes, and getting breakfast ready to go. This way, everything is already kind of taken care of. So no matter who's home helping you, you can tell them to just take care of themselves first and make sure everybody's out the door at a certain time. There's no reason to expect them to do anything else because nothing else needs to be done. And it's communicating if something does pop up. 
It's really that simple, but it's the simple things that make the biggest difference. It's possible to have a morning where you're not yelling at your kids to find their socks and shoes and to get down and eat their breakfast and to hurry up to get out the door because we're going to be late for school. It is possible to have a really amazing flow in the morning where everybody is happy and feeling great and we're not starting our day on a stress note. Three simple things. That's it for you and your kids. So with that, I'll send you on your way for a fantastic Monday. I will talk to you on Wednesday morning for our next wake-up call. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Make sure you get things planned out so that you can start your day on the right note tomorrow morning. And I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Talk to you soon.